Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the studio. We have something new with me today and it's always exciting when you get something new to explore, to look over. So we have a new brand with us at Urban Rider, that's the Spanish brand by City. We have two new helmets from them. We have the by City Roadster 2, which is the one I've got in the studio, or the Rock, which you may have seen in a previous review. That is more of an MX inspired or styled helmet. The Roadster 2 is more city and commuter focused. It is very similar in its style to the likes of the Bell Bullet, a stalwart in this class. They are really popular amongst people who ride in the cities for a few different reasons. One of them is gonna be cosmetic. They look really nice and you've got loads of different color options to go for with the Bi City Roadster 2. You've also got different visors that you can couple this with. You can go for the clear or you can go for a bubble visor or a tinted visor, whatever you might prefer. The other thing that's really beneficial to these helmets is the visibility that you get. They have a really wide opening on the front. It is similar in its feel to an open face helmet. You get that same field of view, that same visibility and freedom, but you have the added safety and security of a chin bar. The Roadster comes in at a very respectable 160 pounds for the basic colorways like this. They vary depending on the colors that you go for, but not by a huge amount. Or if you want to go for the carbon version, that is 229 pounds, 95, still a really competitive price. Now you might want to go for the carbon version if you want it to be slightly lighter, but I wouldn't worry too much on the weight front with this one. Even the version I have here is listed as 1,300 grams plus or minus 50 grams. I have weighed it and verified that that is accurate. It's really lightweight, thanks to its composite fiber shell. Of course, the Roadster passes ECE 2205 safety standards. You have a double D-ring closure on the bottom. If it ain't broke, why fix it? That is the simplest version. That is, as I've mentioned on loads of different reviews, my preferred method. You can adjust that each and every time. You have a removable suede liner on this. If you need to wash it, you can take it out, obviously. It is really comfortable, actually. Nice and soft against your skin. You have vents on the front. You have two on your chin bar there. They are openable or closable if you want to block out the airflow, or if obviously it's a warmer day, you need to get some more airflow through. That will help demist the visor. You have an injected visor on this. As I say, you can change that if you want to go for tinted versions, bubble versions, you have that option. It is closed via magnets on the left and the right. That is easy enough to operate, maybe a little bit slower than some other visors, uh, but it still works really well. And you can still do it with one hand, which is important. You also have the option though, and some people do prefer this, to go for goggles if you want to. They have this fastener at the back there to loop your strap through to keep it secure. And obviously it's got a really big opening, as I've mentioned previously, on the front, so you won't have a problem fitting goggles in there. And that is about it when it comes to the features or description of this. Like I say, it is a relatively simple helmet. It is fantastic value for money. With that comes a question, I suppose, what is the quality like? And I would say it has a really nice finish to it. There's some great quality to this. If I had to nitpick, I would say that I've probably seen better visors on other helmets, and it might be nice to have some vents on the top of the helmet as well, just to give a bit more airflow. When it comes to the sizing of these, we have them listed slightly on the smaller side. I haven't found it too bad, to be honest with you, but of course, the best place to check that out will be our size guide on the website. There will be links in the description if you want to have a look for yourself on these. We will update that as well in the future. If you want to check these out for yourself, I will drop the links in the description down below. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. And for more of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned to Urban Rider. See you soon.